What's up, Finding Your Purpose fans and Design for a Purpose fans? How are you guys today? I hope everybody is well. And before we get started, let me remind everyone that I um, still have the GoFundMe up for the trip to the L.A. Book Festival. And it's coming up quick. It's on the 22nd. Um, So if you would like to donate, I will leave that in the description box below. Excuse me. And I will also leave the cash app information if you would like to donate that way. Or if you would just like to donate to the channel. I do that because a lot of people don't know how to use the GoFundMe, I noticed. So, you can donate either way. And also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And with that being said, welcome to another episode of Finding Your Purpose. And today, I have... A feel-good story for once. Well, today I was at work, you know, doing what I do. And someone told me that, well, first she was like, can I talk to you? I was like, okay. And at first I'm like, oh, Jesus, you know, what is going on? What is this, that, and the third You know, because those of you that know me, or if you don't know me, I always expect bullshit before good stuff. I don't know why, but I always do. So I'm like, okay. But she pulled me to the side, and she was like, I read your book. I love it. I love it. I'm... I can't wait for you to, you know, publish your second one and so on. She said, but I really wanted to tell you that you inspired my brother. And I'm like, huh? And she went in to detail and she kind of got me choked up because she was saying that you know, her brother was battling, you know, all kind of stuff like, you know, depression, addiction, and all this kind of stuff. And he read my book and it inspired him enough to, you know, change his life around. And y'all, when I tell you I didn't know how to feel. I was like, huh? Like choked up, but happy at the same time. Because if y'all been listening, you know that that's my goal. My goal is to inspire people to never give up on what it is they want to do. Never give up on life in general. Um, so when she told me that and she was just like, thank you very much. Y'all was like, oh my God, like, (laughs) yeah, I told y'all, you know, a while back how hard work pays off, you know, because, you know, I was, I'm starting to get noticed and things like that. But this right here takes the cake. Like, to be able to know that you had a hand in changing someone's life when they were at a downfall and you lifted them up out of the, you know, the the depression and the rut that they were in. It feels really, really good. And it pushes me 
to work harder. It really does. Because, y'all, I mean, as I always say, I was down so bad that I looked up to only see the bottom. And knowing that I did not give up, sure, there were times when, you know, I wanted to, but couldn't let that happen. Couldn't let that happen. And to know that, damn, I came from this to this, you know, to writing a book, to now where my book is out there, it's published, you know, other people are reading it and they're getting inspired, I'm changing their life, it's like, thank you God, thank you God, that's, Ooh, that's really one of the main things that I wanted to stress throughout this experience. Do not give up. You know, yes, times are hard. And yes, times are going to be hard. But you can find a way to jump over the hurdle that's trying to hold you down and to know that people are actually listening and taking my story feels really good because I've always said my pain can be someone else's strength let me say that again My pain can be somebody else's strength. So, you know, that's the goal, you know, because a lot of people say, well, well, what's your your goal? You know, what, what do you want out of this? And I just tell them, I want people to look at me. And look at the things that I've been through. And realize that I'm still standing. You can still be standing too. No matter what you're going through. Because we we all need to remember that. No matter how bad we have it. There's always someone who has it worse than us. Although we can't see it because we are trapped in our situations at the time. But it's not the end. We just have to keep pushing. And the more shit pushes back towards us, we just got to push harder. Push harder. And never give up. So, you know, that made me feel really good um, to know that, you know, my work is paying off. You know, like even starting, you know, my YouTube channel, it's just starting to really pay off. There were times where, you know, I wanted to, you know, give up, even, uh, you know, starting this YouTube, because it's like, I don't know if people would, you know, listen to what I'm doing, I don't know if they'll even appreciate what I'm doing, but slowly, slowly but surely is starting, you know, to work, like, the those of you that follow me on here you know 
I do, of course, th- this style of, you know, my podcast on here on YouTube. But then I also like do little things like if if we're doing stuff with the family, I'll post that or I'll post like, you know, what we have for dinner, lunch or breakfast, because those I don't know why, but you guys love to see, you know, what, you know, I'm eating. So th- thank you for paying attention to every little thing. And, um, like when I do, um, when I go to the festival, the, um, LA Times festival, um, on the 22nd, I'm going to try my hardest to get some pictures, you know, of me and the family or, you know, I'm going to try to get some video of things that are going on because, you know, I, this will be my first time, you know, doing this because like I said, I've had other opportunities, but the financial side of things, I passed up on a lot of them, but this one, something was telling me, don't, don't pass up on this. You know, you do what you got to do. This is your time. Don't pass up on this opportunity. And then, you know, even family members were like, no, do this one. Don't, don't pass up on any more. Don't, you know, because you, you never know, you could be missing out on a blessing. So I'm going for it, you guys. I'm going for it. But yeah, I'm going to try to post um, video and um, pictures and stuff. And I also have an interview um, for the book festival that's going to be held on um this coming friday i believe they're going to record it and then they're going to send me a copy so i'll be able to post that to my social media and um i'll be sure to post that to um uh, in my youtube and you guys be sure to like follow, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That way you can um, know what's going on with my books, all the fun stuff I'm doing. I'm going to try to have, you know, you know, giveaways and stuff like that. But of course, you know, I need my following up. But yeah, um, so the interview will consist of, well, what I was told was, They will ask me, like, questions, like, why did I write the book and things like that. So, again, you guys, this will be my first time. So, I'm kind of nervous. But at the same time, I'm like, you can do this. You can do this. You know, let's get it done. Um. I'm very excited, you know, because I'm pretty sure that this, well, hopefully it will, um, I'm pretty sure that this opportunity right here will open up more doors, so to speak. Um, so, you know, I just had to share my feel good testimony I guess with you guys you know because that really really made me feel good to know that you know hey you know what you're doing is starting you know to pay off you know people are paying attention but just the fact that 
knowing that, you know, you made a difference in someone's life for the better makes you feel, feel real, real good. Um, I just, I can't thank, you know, God enough for uh, the opportunities he, he has given me, you know, and, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for listening to me ramble on about, you know, these type of things, you know, but it's always nice to have a feel good story rather than, you know, the sad, depressing stuff every week, you know, it feels really, really good to know that, you know, you're making a difference and, but y'all know me, it's hard for me to, I guess, accept the fact that, hey, you know, you are changing lives. Because I'm looking at it as I am. Like, really, I don't know. It's, I guess it's hard to get excited because, as I just stated earlier, like, I'm used to BS after BS after BS. So to know that, you know, things are finally turning around for the better, I could not be more excited and and just happy like I even let her know I want to meet your brother I want to you know shake his hand and let him know you you know you you got this you got this so you know it just it just goes to show you that no matter who you are where you came from how you start if you want to do something then do it don't let anybody tell you you can't don't let anybody turn you a different way And please, you guys, take it from me. Get out of your own way. Because I can honestly tell you, I am my own worst critic. And I feel like, shit, I should have started, you know, this stuff a long time ago. But, you know, everything happens for a reason and everything happens you know right when it's supposed to happen so with that being said I hope I changed one of your lives or you know a couple of your lives just Know that whatever it is you want to do, you you can do it. You have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, then how do you expect anybody else to believe in you? You got this. You can do it. And if you're listening and it's one of those days for you, just know that you're going to make it through. We've all been there. We've all had our ups and downs. We just got to push through the downs. And there's going to be certain days where we got to push a little harder than we want to. But you can do this. So, with that being said, 
thank you guys for taking the time to listen to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And as I said, once I do the interview, once they, you know, send it to me, I'll post it to YouTube and my other social media. And um, don't forget to tell your loved ones to like and subscribe, follow all that good stuff. Good things are happening for all of us, all of us. Remember, when I win, you win, we win. It's all good. Love you guys, and I will catch you next week. Stay safe out there. Peace.